Okay, so back at it again today, putting the pointing around the bottom of this wall. I've almost finished. Um, concrete is coming today to have a look at it and make sure that we're prepped, ready to go. So still fingers crossed we're going to get the concrete in this week. If we do, that will be a huge step forward for us. So I'm just going to finish this off and then I might even go and do some more cleaning outside, which we've neglected for a little while, but the weather's not too bad today so I may be able to get some wall pointing done so I'll get stuck into this see what the weather's like by the time I finish and I may get some of that done. Tiny bit more, I think. Okay, so I've pointed this here. I think it's looking pretty good. I've straightened up these bricks, put some little wedges in, which I'll pull out once this dries and patch that little hole, but these are pretty stable now. So now I've got to fill this joint hole here that had been filled with spray foam because that's obviously how you fix stone houses. So got some field rocks, got some mortar. I'm filling that in. I've found a stone here to 
fill this hole so it looks natural again. So I'll get stuck into that and that should stabilise this corner. Once this is stabilised, we've stabilised down here, then we'll get the rest of this concrete off. So it's a bit of a process, but we're trying to do it so that we don't lose the corner of the house. Peoples, I'm back here today at Pinery 1 and I forgot the film so far so my target today is to grind, plane this step down here like I have. I'm going to put another step on top of it because the concrete's coming up that high. So this door is going to be way shorter. So. We'll start filming now so you can watch. Alright, so this is what I've got up to so far. Every time I put my phone down and try to record, it turns off for some reason. Me and technology don't get on. So I've got this bottom step here all plain down so it's all level now. I've got these bits of door frame here cut out so that this new step here can slide in, be glued in place, and then I'll screw it down as well. Alright, I forgot to bring the wood glue with me, so I've got to use this Sally's Nails stuff, which I'm not that keen on. I think it goes too hard, and eventually it gets that hard that it just um, cracks up and breaks away. Alright, so that's the front door step done. I think it looks a little bit stupid like that, but it had to be done because the concrete in here, this house is so bent, to get it to match the door step over there, the concrete, the concrete has to come up to probably, um, I've allowed for 12, say 20 mil below this. On the other side of this step it has to go to, which is a hell of a long way. 
All right, now I have to cut the walls over here. The VJ panel where the um, concrete's going to go up to, so that's not stuck in the concrete. Shit myself then, I thought that was the concretery. Doors back on, so the concrete rocks up, steps in. Doors all cut to the right size now. I was thinking there's a massive gap here now, but I forgot I took that little piece of timber off the door jam there. So that's it, door steps done. The door is now 1900 high. Or probably not even that. It's pretty short now. See that green line down there? It's where the concrete's gonna come up to. And on this doorstep here, it's going to come up to the bottom of the step there. It's going to hit just here. And on that doorstep over there, it's going to have the same sort of gap as the front door, probably 10 mil before the top of the door. So. I guess we're going to find out what it's really like to renovate old houses. Because when we've got the concrete in here, then we're going to put floating floors on top of it. And I think the ones we've got are about 10 mil thick, so they're just going to come level with the top of the doors, except for this step here.
Well, that's it for this week for us guys. Yeah. Follow along next week and we'll show you how the concrete's turned out. I think it's going to be awesome. They did a great job. Thanks for all those people that have subscribed. We really appreciate you subscribing and following along. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so as we complete these two cottages. There'll be plenty more to come. So thank you and we'll see you next week. Thanks guys.